All right, everybody, today I want to talk about one of the Neo Muna weapons, in particular, one of the heavy weapons, the only wave frame grenade launcher in the heavy slot. And it's stasis. We're talking about the, and bear with me now, dimensional hypo trochoid. I'm gonna call it the DH for the remainder of this video. Anyways, it's the first of its kind. And I feel like we all know what this gun's main use inside of the game is going to be. Anyways, let us go ahead and talk about it. So a wave frame in the heavy slot. Well, what are you gonna use that for? Traditionally, wave frames are used for ad clear with for variants obviously being the king in that regard due to its chain reaction and ambitious assassin roll. Now yes, this GL does get chain reaction in the fourth column okay some of the other perk options are relatively meh if i'm being real with you you know you have things like unrelenting threat detector field prep mbs assassin maybe stats for all as some pretty decent options in the third column and then in column four uh, you're really looking at chain reaction maybe one for all and then vorpal for a certain scenario which we'll get to later in the video probably seeing it in the gosh darn gameplay anyways yes yeah, something like unrelenting chain reaction or threat detector field prep with chain reaction and envious assassin with chain reaction would definitely slap that would do some work now look y'all i gotta keep it a buck using this thing for clear out ads is totally viable it would absolutely excel in that situation but are you really going to do that when you have forbearance in the special slot that can easily do that for you? This is a heavy weapon. Are you really going to commit a heavy weapon to clearing ads that's not a machine gun? Now look, you do what you want to do, but I personally am going to craft this bad boy for Riven slaying purposes. Now I decided to go and test this thing against Riven a little bit, as well as comboing it a bit with the Sun Bracers, just to see what it could do. Now in these clips, we do have Vorpal Weapon on for the extra 10% damage, but we don't have any of the Dreaming City mods we only have taken spec on the gun and then three stasis surges if you guys didn't know you can shoot wave frames either above or behind a ribbon and they're gonna do a lot of bouncing which is actually going to do a lot of damage to ribbon which is why wave frames have been a bit meta against this boss for a minute now and this one you're able to shoot multiple shots in a row before reloading and if you're crouched with something like field prep you're gonna be able to reload really fast also threat detector as well allowing you to dump out a lot more shots than you would with something like a typical wave frame now yeah crafting a weapon specifically for a five-year-old raid boss might not be the most ideal thing to do for a weapon in 2023 but it is what i'm going to choose to do with mine let me know down in the comments which role for this weapon you are going to use i imagine most people are going to keep it simple and just put on chain reaction you can never go wrong with that perk on a wave frame but i just had to craft this thing with ribbon slaying in mind so i'm going to go ahead and put on vorpal weapon instead from the fourth column and keep rocking with good old field prep in the third thank you for giving me about three minutes of your time on this mother's day that is very generous of you hope you all enjoyed the video be safe out there we'll see you on the next one